All right, in this video, I want to do another example of using sum and difference identities to find a, a value of a trig function. So suppose we want to evaluate sine of 195 degrees. So sometimes kind of the tricky part is just finding out, you know, um, how to write this as a sum of uh, angles that we already know. Well, we know uh, 45 degrees. We know how to evaluate sine and cosine at 45 degrees, 90 degrees. 135 degrees. I'm just basically taking multiples of 45 degrees, 180 degrees, etc. Um, let's see. Let's maybe stick 30 degrees up there. We can do 30, 60, we know 90, 120, um, etc. So uh, what I'm going to try to do, um, you know, you could do the same thing with 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees, we know 180 degrees. Again, just multiples of 60 degrees. I'm either looking for sort of two numbers in here that either add up to 195 or whose difference is 195. Well, there's definitely uh, more than one way to do this, but certainly it looks like we could use uh, 60 degrees and 135 degrees. So sine of 195 degrees is the same thing. Well, that's going to be 60 degrees plus 135 degrees. And now we just have to use our identity. Um, and recall our sum identity for sine here. It says we just take sine of the first one, 60 degrees. We take cosine of the second one, 135 degrees. Since there's a, p a plus in between, we keep that. And then it says we use cosine of 60 degrees. And then we'll use sine of 135 degrees. So I'm just using my uh, very top identity. And now hopefully these are uh, values that we know. So sine of 60 degrees, that's the same as sine of pi over 3. Um, that's going to give us root 3 over 2. Cosine of 135 degrees, that's going to be in the second quadrant. Um, that's going to give us negative root 2 over 2. Cosine of 60 degrees, um, that's going to give us 1 half. Sine of 135 degrees, that's going to be positive root 2 over 2. And now we can just simplify this down. If we multiply, we'll get negative. Square root of 3 times square root of 2, we can write that as square root of 6. Uh, 1 times root 2 is simply root 2. Uh, we would have our common denominator of 2 times 2, which is 4. So to me, that looks like a nice simplified solution for sine of 195 degrees.